Hi, my name's Dave, and I've spent most of my life outdoors here in Canada's western frontier. I believe one thing to be true. Outside is therapy. It's where we both reconnect and disconnect. I hope you come with me as we build, explore, and repeat. doors are very strong the, the gas shuts are pretty are pretty tough to close but for one that's because our rear door is you're able to attach stuff to it which which, which makes it heavier so if you put an axe and a shovel or something like that in there then it's going to reduce it's going to increase the weight of the door therefore uh, increase the strength of the shocks that you need that being said um, we're going to get these parts today it's sunday so i'm hoping auto value and red gear is always open and they have a massive selection of high quality gas trucks that's where we're going oh nissan frontier Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines And this ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for sunset Digging deep since nine What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all alone. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way. All right, guys, happy Tuesday. Uh, we got lit on today after work. We've got latches and seals in the door. We're still waiting on some gas struts, but um, our platforms, what happens when these things start getting built, um, they get a little heavy for the platforms. Um, so a six foot model weighs anywhere from 460 pounds ish. And uh, when we're moving these platforms around, specifically when we're bringing them over into here for install, um, onto the trailer so we can bring them to Jordan's, they become a little tricky. So what I'm doing right now is just adding some skin with some cutoffs to the outside just to get a little bit of structure. So that's what we're gonna do now. We've got uh, everything that we need for the install on Saturday. Uh, we just gotta go and put the canvas on and uh, the internal cabinet stuff, get that all situated. And then Friday, Jordan's gonna have our awning brackets and our electrical mole panel done. So we'll pick that up and install that last thing. We're, we're doing well, I think. We think we're right on track, so. Uh, there's nothing else to do but just to get back to work.
right, guys. It's the end of the day, Friday. We got a uke pack assembled, ready to rock. There's a couple of a couple of challenges with this one. So we are installing. Um, our customers bought a 270 quick pitch awning, which, if you're familiar with the video that went semi-viral uh, during uh, Overland Expo West, uh, this awning is ridiculously strong. It really keeps up with the wind. Um, you can just saw it fluttering. If I can find it, I'll put it here. Um, but in order to accommodate the awning, we have to develop our own brackets. So we've done so, which are these guys right here. They're kind of hard to see, actually. There you go. Which are these guys right here. So this allows you to run almost any awning, really. Um, but as a general rule, um, typically we like to be able to conceptualize something and throw it on, a, on the prototype and then test it out. Unfortunately with this one, because the, uh, the delivery date was so tight and we had to make it work, um, we had to just risk it for the biscuit and throw them on. I'll give you guys a really quick uh, peekaboo at it. I'll flip the camera around here. Go wide. All right, so there you go. That is, uh, that is our six foot Tacoma model. Uh, as you guys can see, we've actually made some changes and these are the changes that we'll be sticking with going forward. We've got full zip out doors now. Right, so uh, a bug mesh uh, on one side and then a zip up door on the other side that rolls down and you can cleat it to the bottom. Um, that was a very, very heavy requested uh, modification to our current, our previous design, which is our prototype right down here. Um, and bingo, that's, that's, that's what we've turned into. We still have our, our big picture window on the other side, our big PVC picture window. I love that thing. Uh, we're going to try and keep it as much as we can, but there is... Um, on earlier models, we do have uh, the thickness of this plus the Velcro plus the bug net plus the blackout on the other side makes that super, super thick. And it was creating too many fail points. So we just went with a solid rear PVC window. Uh, we've installed, we're now installing these little pull down handles. Uh, we're gonna put one of those on Jordan's unit as well when we get it back for some maintenance this September. Um, and then we also went with an external bungee instead of an internal bungee because it eliminates a step. If you forget to install your bungee, you actually have to open it up, move your panels out, put the bungee back on and then close it. This way, it's the last thing you do. You just bungee to the outside and away you go. And yeah, so there you go, guys. Oh, and then he also, uh, Vlad also upgraded to the rigid uh, exterior lights. I know Jordan from Treadhead Garage, he did this mod and uh, Vlad saw it. So he's like, yep, that's, that's what I wanna do. Uh, another really cool thing about these brackets, guys, um, so what we're going to be attempting to do here is we're going to be doing a modular bracket system. So if you want to add any sort of Yuka pack accessories like a bike carrier on the side or a kayak carrier, uh, an awning, uh, a water port, anything like that, these are going to be the brackets that you're going to start with. So these are going to allow any other accessory that we build to attach to these style of brackets. You install them, they stay there forever, and you can just modular, you can swap them out. So tomorrow, well, we're gonna go ahead and install that. I'm just waiting for Jason uh, to swing by the shop right now. He should be pulling up any minute. Uh, you guys know Jason, he runs the Overland Alberta YouTube channel and the Facebook page and all the other ways that he's managed to monetize his incredibly cordial and awesome little group that he's created. He's created quite the quite the community and it's, it's, a really, it's really fun to be a part of it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna install this guy t uh, tomorrow and I will try to do more filming for that for you guys. So you can guys can kind of see what I got Sika flex on my face. Don't I, I do. Um, yeah. And then we will, uh, then we will install the awning and then Vlad is going to be making the trek back to Vancouver. So we want to make sure this thing is tickety boo and ready for him. Cause if he has any issues on the way, or he's in NBC and he has any issues, then it's, it's going to be a little difficult to, to try to, to get out there and sort anything out. So we want to make sure that none of that happens. Uh, so we're going to go through a QC checklist with this guy right away. Um, this thing looks really nice, man. This one looks really nice. And then next week, uh, uh, Monday next week, Sandy is going to be installing this six foot Tacoma. Um, so as soon as that one's done, we are coming back here this weekend and jumping back on Sandy's unit. Uh, Sandy's unit is virtually wired up, so it's going to go pretty quick. There's a few knickknacks that we need to 
to connect and whatnot and run some wires for, but he's just about ready for doors and a top. So we're going to throw those on this weekend and uh, do this all over again the weekend after that. And then probably a few weekends after that too, and so on and so forth. Um, and Expo, man, Expo is bearing down on us. Everybody's like, oh man, it's only 30 days till Expo. And I'm like, I know, I know, I know. Man, is it ever coming up fast. But we got this. We got this. We got this. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me today here at the Adventure Factory. I'm waiting for Jason to pop by. He's going to do a live with Smart Tent. Uh, you guys know Smart Tent. Smart Tent's been around for a while. Very good brand. You guys know him very well. It's Cody is the owner of Smart Tent. So Jason's going to be going live with him. And uh, he said he's bringing supper, which I'm super stoked about. But now I'm going to end it with you guys here and uh, touch base with you guys tomorrow when we get ready to do this install. A new place, a new home For a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride A new man, passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Me up, so in new, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky, I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way Cause I found my way Oh, alright gang We got Vlad and Auntie, you guys remember them from the BC Overland Rally That's where uh, they came by and checked out the prototype and uh, the dilly daller or Dalton yes. is dallying his diddle. <laughs> and cut. And, <laughs> and Zach, Zach's got the jokes. Uh, but we're sitting here. We've got the uh, the Yuka Pack uh, nested on the on the Tacoma right now. Looks really good, guys. We're gonna go through now. Just confirm all of our corners. Make sure that we're good in all of our gaps. Uh, then we're going to go through and we're going to start drilling the holes for the clamps. Once that's done, we'll boogie back to the shop and uh, wire up the rear tail light. And uh, Vlad had a little bit of uh, <laughs> little bit of road damage on the way out here. So we just want to make sure that the tailgate and everything like that is tickety-boo for their drive home. And then they're going to be out of here on their way back to Vancouver. So if you guys are from the Vancouver area, you're going to see this unit here in the next couple of days. So uh, we also got to put the awning on it. So let's, let's get back to her. My way, cause I find my way, 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 I found my way, I found my way, I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day, cause I find my way, I found my way, in bad times, I know I'll be okay, cause I find my way. I want to thank you all for joining me on this here adventure. Um, Zachary has just made a rather astute observation. And that is that it is currently fishing time. And since I haven't been fishing in like, shit, weeks? No, nah, not quite months. <laughs> definitely weeks. It's been, a, it's been a few weeks since I've been fishing. Later came by this morning. I see the boat hasn't moved yet. Yeah. Yeah, the <laughs> boat like. the boat hasn't gone anywhere. So Zach and I are going to drag that puppy out. Uh, put some we, bug spray on. Put some bug spray on and see if we can't catch ourselves some 
We're going to go for walleye. But we're going to catch pike. <laughs> we're going to go for walleye and we're going to catch pike. Like everyone else. Yeah. So it's, um, yeah, I think, I think, I think I've deserved, I have earned a day, not a day of fishing. I've earned a couple hours of fishing. So that's where we're going to end it here today, guys. Uh, again, like I said, thank you very much for joining me. I'm just going to hound you guys relentlessly. If you haven't already done so, jump on to www.aoaexpo.com and grab your tickets. Uh, September 3rd to 5th is creeping up on us, as Zachary so pleasantly reminded me. Um, so, yeah, not uh, we're, we're running out of time, guys. Get your tickets today because you don't want to wait till you get them at the gate because they're going to be more expensive. Um, so get your tickets. Yeah. Get your tickets. Oh, and if you want to know more, obviously, about Yucapac Campers, you can visit us at www.blindmanoverland.com. And uh, if you want any information on a Yucapac, you can email me at dave at blindmanoverland.com. And I think that's it. I think that's it. It is a really hot day today, and my eyes are really creepishly red. What is going on there? Hmm. Anywho. That's going to be it, guys. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Live free. Be wild. Bye.